The equipment utilized for the airfoil lift experiment is the Flotec 1440 wind tunnel. The wind tunnel utilizes the LabVIEW software to visually view and control data collection and export into Excel. This is the airfoil used for the airfoil lab experiment. The airfoil is placed in the chamber of the wind tunnel fixed on the center line. Connected to the airfoil are 15 pressure taps. Eight of the pressure taps are on top of the airfoil while seven are on the bottom. These taps are connected via clear tubes to the pressure transducers located within the control panel. This is the airfoil placed in the chamber, as well as the angle of attack indicator. Begin by opening the wind tunnel chamber using the black latches located at the bottom of the chamber. Set the desired angle of attack of the airfoil and then securely fasten the latches back in place. You will also need someone behind the wind tunnel carefully holding the airfoil in place. This is especially important at higher wind tunnel speeds as the airfoil will move out of the desired angle of attack. Find the main controls on the wind tunnel. Turn the key to the run position and press the green fan enable button. You can then control the wind tunnel speeds through LabVIEW. To begin data collection, press the arrow in the top left corner of the screen. Then, use either the dial or the arrow on the number indicator to set the wind tunnel speed. However, it is important to note that the number on the indicator does not reflect the speed. Instead, you should use the dial to measure the speed accurately. When setting the speed, no tests should be performed under 30 feet per second, while no tests should be performed over 140 feet per second. After setting the airspeed, wait approximately one minute to allow the transients in the flow field to subside. To save your data into Excel, press the red button that says click to save data. This will save three seconds of data into an Excel file. Close out of the Excel file every time you review it, or else the data will not properly save to the file. Then change the speed and your desired increments. Do not keep the wind tunnel on the highest speed for long, however, as this will cause the wind tunnel to turn off automatically. If you need to save data at different speeds, you will notice that your data continues to add on to the previous row in the Excel. 